What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. Shout out Bravo with that Tesla. <laughs> hey, episode three of season two. I did a little switcheroo on you right there. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? It is season two, episode three. Jordan K back at it for another episode. Uh, you know the deal. So we just gonna kick it off and let's get going. Watch out. All right. So topic number one is not really a topic at all. It's kind of a a friendly reminder to all of you uh, to go support your local black owned businesses. There's a ton out there. Uh, I don't know if you knew that, uh, probably in your area, most likely in a more predominantly diverse area uh, like Milwaukee. I know there are a ton of black owned businesses out there. I've been seeing a lot of articles of people posting links to a bunch of them. I'm actually, I'm gonna leave a link to like a Yelp site uh, where you can find just a whole list of different black owned businesses from food to to car services to beauty to you know clothes to you know anything that you really need uh there's definitely black owned stores i know of a few in milwaukee that i've got to visit uh too uh, i gravitate towards food so you know i check those out first obviously uh but coffee makes you black is a a classic for me because i just like uh breakfast food uh, so they got some good waffles and chicken, um, some coffee, obviously. But let's see, we got other places like I love some soul food. There's a ton of different soul food places across uh, Milwaukee. Um, I know Upper Yard, uh, more of a Jamaican spot. Shout out all my Jamaicans. Wagwan, Jamaica. Um, Skybox is a classic as well. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of food spots across Milwaukee. An easy search on your phone. You all have a phone to Google search it. Um, but definitely support your local black businesses, um, support your local stores. You know, a lot of these corporations come into the, uh, into our areas in the cities and, you know, really don't give a damn about us. They just want the dollars. That person that you may know that owns that store, you know, go support them. Your friend that's trying to start a business, man, go support them. It might be a little more. Hey, I'm fine with that. If it's a little bit more, but I know the people doing it and I, I feel that you're working for something better, I'm going to spend that extra dollar. Uh, just because I want to see support. I try to do my best and support as much uh, black owned businesses and just uh, p local businesses that I know um, up in where I'm at in Stevens Point. There's not too many, uh, but I have found a few and I've tried to support those. Um, so if you watch this and you know any stores that I haven't supported and you want me to support, uh, send me a link. Yeah, I just think we really need to start supporting our own. You know, we we buy a lot of stuff. We purchase a lot of things. Um, we like to look good. We like to spend our money. Uh, but hey, you know, consciously can we think about spending it on people that maybe look like us um, or have, you know, have come, grown up in the same areas? Because I think that uh, that's how we get further as a as a people, as a community. So it's not even just going to uh, buying stuff. You know, you can go visit. There's the Wisconsin Black uh, Historical Society. Uh, there's other places across uh, Wisconsin and the Midwest I know too. So, you know, just going out there and uh, supporting your people, supporting the people around you. Now, check this out. Now, if you at home and you're like, Jordan, man, I love to support black owned businesses, but I, I live in Milwaukee. I, I just don't know where to find it. After I just told you, you can Google it and Yelp it and you don't want to do that. Hey, it's all good. People have helped you out with this. Uh, actually there is a app that just released about a month ago, I think it was called MKE black. Uh, if you go on the app store, uh, if you do the Android stuff, whatever type of store y'all got, uh, but you can go download MKE black. And that is a app that shows all the black owned businesses, uh, in the Milwaukee area. So, you know, I'm definitely going to hop on that when I get back to the city. Uh, but you know, definitely do that. Look for it. Uh, they're out there, you man, support your own and yeah. PSA, support black owned businesses. But in saying that, let's get to some damn artists supporting these Milwaukee artists, you heard? On this week, we about to slow it down with this first artist. We got the lovely, the beautiful, and the talented True West. Now all they eyes on me, eh, like some prize money. Now if you wanna book with me, it's gonna come with a fee. And before you speak, there ain't no tea, there ain't no just understand and then come for free Me and my mom's gotta eat Yeah, yeah, you feel me? I'm just trying to get it I ain't worried about a nigga I ain't worried about a chick I'm just trying to get it, get it, get it uh, Get the money, get the money I'm just trying to get it It's like the ant I'm just trying to get it 
get it, no bullshit. See, where I think of true when I'm listening to R&B music, you know, there's different lanes to everything. And, you know, that uh, Kehlani, Ella May, Janae Aiko, Snow Allegra, you know, that lane, you know, that's where I'm putting true. You know, some of that R&B music that as a man, I sit back and I'm listening. I'm like, damn, I'm really fucking up out here. What am I doing? You know, the, I love R&B music that puts you in your feels, got you feeling some type of way. Uh, and I think True does that really well. True is on all streaming platforms. She has a couple singles out, uh, one EP and one full project. Uh, EP, Gift of Gab, Volume 1, or just the first one. And then the project is Gift of Gab, Volume 2. Uh, great songs on there. Uh, Switch Up is one of my favorites. Uh, I love Switch Up. I play Get It. Uh, Anticipation that I just played. I love that song as well. And I was thinking, you were my quicksand. Falling for you was easy. Please understand, but you took my heart and couldn't take me back. just came out with the song 10 toes uh that's talking about what's going on uh in the world right now you know fighting for justice and still not getting it so you know shout out true for making that song uh 10 toes go peep that out on all streaming platforms as well yeah no i really like true true west is a really great artist if you really like r&b music um i hope true is coming out with more music uh because i really like uh being in my fields and feeling some type of way so uh, the last project did it for me. I mean, it came out in 2020, so I'm being a little selfish, but hey, true, I, we love music. We love R&B, so uh, hit us with some new music. Follow True, though. Uh, this is her social media. Let me see if I get it right. It's like right in this little box right here. I fit it right there. But <laughs> yeah, shout out True. Uh, she is dope. She is dope. I got the DJ for her at one show, and that's where I got put on to her. I love seeing her perform, too. Um, man, I'm a sucker for R&B. So shout out True West. Go follow her. See, I started y'all off with a little bit of the slow R&B, get y'all feeling right a little bit. Uh, but now we bring in that, that high energy, that high energy, because we talking about my guy, Spades. Look in my mind, I see this pain for real. Try to keep out your crack, don't trust for real, yeah. To me, uh, Spades is like a motherfucking rock star, bro. Uh, he goes fucking hard every track that he's on. He's got some high energy on the stage and also on the track, man. He just brings it every single time. Spades is different than a lot of Milwaukee. I think all of Milwaukee artists, really. Um, he's just got a different... He's on his different vibe, man. If you, uh, if you see his videos... Um, he's on TikTok and Triller and doing all that kind of stuff. He's posts a lot of content. He's got videos with his little uh, daughter, and those are just adorable. I recently got hooked on him because my guy, Mr. Nice Guy, uh, Ben Slowey, when he did a, an interview with Spades, he reached out to me. He's like, hey, bro, have you heard of this guy named Spades before? And I, I said I had, but I never checked out his music. And he just said, yo, you got to check this guy out. And he just, he really loved this interview, just thought he was a genuine dude, so... You know, I checked out uh, his project uh, before after he told me that. And, you know, he just came out with uh, not his latest project, but the project before that. Uh, one of my favorite songs is Grandma's Letter. Uh, I listen to that a lot. Hey, can't afford a lifestyle. I know somebody hear me turn the lights out. Spades has a lot of music out. Uh, he's been putting music out for a while now. He has a, a recent project that dropped in uh, 2020. Uh, he's been dropping a few singles. Some of my favorite recent songs are Sorry Not Sorry and Bad Boy Fantasy off his newest project. Uh, like I said, Grandma's Letter is one of my favorites. Um, he has a song called uh, You Ain't You Ain't Gonna Find Another. I really like that song. It's really good. Uh, Don't Compare, No Approval as well. Um, so I have a handful of joints that I really like of Spades. I mentioned Don't Compare. Um, Don't Compare is a newer song as well. Uh, as actually, I think it's newest song. 
Um, and it's talking about what's going on uh, with the George Floyd stuff. He puts his own flair, his own swag onto it. Um, the visuals you can see is in Milwaukee. Um, a lot of this, these paintings are uh, done by Milwaukee artists in the city. You see him. Uh, space has been out in the streets. Like I said, there was Milwaukee artists uh, that have been talking um, and being out in the protests and making words. Space is one of those artists. You stay silent while the police wanna go kill me. We will riot if you motherfuckers don't hear me. I told my people, nigga, even if they won't kill me. I can't just be crying, nigga, maybe they wanna heal me. You wonder why I'm never sober, nigga, you don't hear me. Yeah, they don't feel me. Man, shout out Space, a real rapper, rock star, pop star, however he wants to, uh, characterize himself but he has a lot of energy and i love it every time i see him perform on stages uh every song that i hear so man shout out space give him a follow uh here's his uh stuff in this area as well man shout out space keep doing you uh i'm a new fan going hard man keep rocking i be doing life for the party hell yeah there we go that's episode three wrapped up hey man i appreciate y'all for tuning in if y'all made that as far hey that's great these are some really dope artists so i just y'all need to know them so man until next time i'm out